Hey Jackal, I had a happy little accident and made this effect. I call it the vision effect. But you can also use it for something else. And I will show you how to make it in three stages. From the simple one, medium one and then what you see now. Now let's get digital. So when I made the effect, I made the fusion composition, but ideally you'll just use a video clip or an image and make the effect inside there. If you don't, well, you only need to change one thing and I'll show you what. So let's go to the media pool and take a clip or an image, select the clip and we'll do this in the fusion page. So the first thing that we need is fast noise. Then we will need an ellipse to mask something out. So we have something in focus. This could be the fire. This could be the person. And then what we also need is this place. So shift the space, tap in this place. The displace will go to the media in as a background and the fast noise will go in the foreground. I'll display the fast noise on the left side. We will have to change the scale. You can now see how this affects the image. So we have this animated automatically. We'll adjust the seed rate. How fast the animation will be will depend on the value that you set. To get a more noticeable difference, you will want to adjust the contrast and also the brightness. And now because you don't want to affect the whole image or the video clip, we use a mask into the displace node so we focus something out. But in this case, we have to invert the mask so it affects the outside of, in this case, ellipse. And maybe set the soft edge so it doesn't cut out too sharply. So this can be the basic effect. Looks like this. If the playback is too choppy, you can right click here, you disable high quality, also the motion blur. If that doesn't fix the issue, go to the playback, timeline proxy resolution and set this to half or quarter. But if you do that, as you can see, the effect loses some of the punchiness. So I'll just put this back to full. Now this is step number one. You may need to add something else to this composition to make it stand out. That something would be vignette. So shift space, vignette. And we can simply connect it into the middle. Now with this vignette, you can change the color to what you want and then adjust the size to fit your needs. Maybe something like that. Looks a bit off to me. So what you can do is simply connect the fast noise as a mask to the vignette, which doesn't look the best. But what you can do is change the operating mode from basic to advanced and under the composite mode, you can change the mode. So in my example, I chose add and you can maybe also disable the mask, see how that looks like. So you can leave it as is or add the mask depending on what you want, but you will need to adjust the size and maybe also anamorphism. First, let me just display how this looks like. I will adjust the softness so we can actually see the anamorphism in action. So this is how you can adjust the shape. Once you're happy with it, adjust the softness and then you can simply connect the fast noise again. So this can be step number two. And the third one, I'll just copy the composition here, is to add some glow. And in this case, the vignette was added separately. So first, let's add the vignette like so. Add the merge node. So this will go to the back and this will go to the front. It looks exactly the same as it did before. So this is okay. So let's add another vignette. and display it, and if I display it, nothing shows up. And that's because it's expecting an input. In this case, I just want a background node, and I will set the alpha to zero so it's transparent. And then we can add the vignette, and change the color to what we want, and change the size. Then we'll simply add the glow node, 
You can also use soft glow. So let's add soft glow as well, why not? See how this will look like. And then we have to merge this together. But before we do, I also have the fast noise affecting the vignette. So not everything will be glowing, but only a section of the vignette, like so. So now we have to merge this vignette and the soft glow. So let's do that. This one will be in the front, this one will be in the back. Looks like this at the moment. And combine it down here to this one. So what difference does now this vignette make? Let's disable it. So it does make a difference. And if you don't have any soft glow, that also makes a lot of a difference. Now I didn't set anything in the glows, I just left them to default for now. So maybe we can go to the vignette to change the color. But we can also go to the glow nodes, adjust the glow, adjust the blend, but you can also adjust the color space. Now this is how you can make a quick vision effect. I'll simply copy the nodes and show you what happens if you make this effect in a fusion page and apply different resolution clips. So I have a fusion clip, I'll go inside, paste the nodes in, and as for the media pool, I will take this image, this image is 4K, and you do see an issue. So I think this is the fast noise. And also this is the background, because if you go into the inspector tab and image, this is the size of my project timeline. So in this case, the media in is a 4K image. So this is resolution mismatch, which also affects in this case the fast noise and the background mode, because they have the image tab and this is where this can be set. Now you can uncheck the auto resolution and scale this to the resolution that the media in node has. Alternatively, you can leave this to auto, use shift space, type in scale, add the scale node after the media in. Now nothing will change at the moment. The scale is still the same, as you can see. So what you need to do is to scale this down. And when you do scale this down, it should match the resolution that you have. So how can you scale this down? Well, I will simply type in 1440p divided by 2160. And now the resolution is the same as I have in my timeline. And as we can make a quick vision effect in DaVinci Resolve. And if you would like to see more DaVinci Resolve content, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jacko, keep it digital.